I'm going to consider this lesson to be part two to lesson two. So this is going to be a bit of a mini lesson. And what I want to do in this lesson is to kind of close in some of the gaps. We learned the change directory command in the previous lesson. Well, I'd like to talk about a special case on how to use the change directory when a directory that you're trying to get into has spaces in its name. But I'd also like to talk about aliases and auto-completion. So first things first. Uh, let's go ahead and let's dive into the terminal here. And so first thing I want to do is I want to navigate to my lessons folder. I couldn't remember what it was called. Here we go. Change directory. <clears throat> Home, my username. So what I'm typing in is an absolute path right now. And then I have a folder in uh, documents called my video tutorials. So my video tutorials. And then in that folder I have another folder called lesson plans. Now from what we learned in the previous lesson this should work. This should take me right to my folder lesson plans. But the terminal complains. It says no such file or directory. Well, I open up my folder here, click on Home, Documents, <clears throat> My Video Tutorials, Lesson Plans. And so it seems that there's a contradiction. It seems, well, yes, it does exist. Why is the terminal having a problem? And the problem is the spaces that exist in the folder names. So I want to teach you what you have to do when you navigate to folders that have spaces in their names. We're going to use what's called the escape character. So what I do first is I say cd home, my username, documents. Now <clears throat> the first space is after the word my. So I type my and then I type a backslash and a space. So the backslash says to the terminal, be prepared, you're going to have some space in this name. My video, and then I have another space. So a backslash, space, tutorials, forward slash to the next folder. Now the next folder is called lesson plans with a space between. So I type in lesson, the escape character with a space, plans. I hit enter, and now I'm located in the correct directory so I can see my various files that are located right here. So this is how you have to navigate, or this is what you have to do in order to navigate into folders and directories that have spaces in their names. You've got to use this escape character. The escape character says to the terminal, be prepared, there is a special character coming up. And in this case, the character is called white space. It's a blank space. And so that's how you have to do that. <clears throat> OK. Well, that is what you have to do in order to navigate to special folders with special names. Um, what if I have to navigate to my lesson plans folders a lot, but I just am getting sick and tired of having to type it in again and again and again? Well, that's where alias comes in handy. An alias is uh, something you can create that's a shortcut to a command. How do I do that? Well, I type in alias. Then I need to have the name for my alias. So I'm just going to say my lessons equal sign and begin with a double quote. Now, inside of this double quote, I'm going to type in the command that I would normally type. So I want to change my directory to the lesson plans folder. So I change directory. I'm going to use an absolute path home to AC part tree documents. And then my escape character video, escape character tutorials, escape up uh, forward slash to the next folder, then lesson plans, lesson escape character plans. And then I close the quote. And what this has done is this has created an alias called my lesson plans. So I'm in the root folder right now. All I have to do is type my lessons. That's the name of the alias. And bam, I'm directly in my lesson plans folder. So now I've saved time. I don't have to type in a whole bunch of things uh, again and again and again if I have to get back to uh, 
a directory that I need to frequently uh, get to. You can create aliases with almost any command, I would say. So cd is just the first one of the first commands we've learned. We're going to learn a lot more commands. Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about auto-completion. So I look at my file here, and notice I have uh, two files. I have one file called hardandsoftlinks.odt. That's a LibreOffice document. I also have a file called hard and not so hard example.txt. That's an empty text file that I created uh, just for the example or just for the sake of this lesson. Well, if I wanted to edit this document using the command line, using gedit, which is a special program, it's a very basic text editor. It's kind of like Notepad on Windows. I would type in gedit, and then I would have to type in the whole name. And notice that this name has spaces in it. So I would have to type gedit hard escape character and escape character not escape character so escape character hard escape character example.txt and that will open up the blank text file that I created. Again, <clears throat> what if I just don't want to have to do that? Well, there is something in Terminal called auto-completion. This is how it works. gedit is the command for the notepad editor. And what I'm going to do is just start off by typing the name hard. But now I hit the tab key. And it fills in the rest for me as far as it can go. Now, why did it stop there? Well, let me show you why it stopped there. I have two files that have names that begin the same way. They both begin with the words hard and and. But autocompletion couldn't go any further because after that, the names begin to differ. So what I'm going to do is let's say I want to edit hard and not so hard example.txt. What I do first is I hit type gedit hard and then or har and hit tab so it auto completes what it can and now I'm going to begin the word not and hit tab again and it will auto complete for me because now it says ah now I know which file he's talking about so by hitting the tab key this helps me to shortcut this long boring process of having to type in long file names that can become cumbersome that's going to be really really useful to you as you spend time in the command line all right. God bless you, wherever you are today.